question number 29 grade 2022 chemistry the question is to find out correct statements about the spectral line drawing in atomic spectra four options are given first we will check what is an atomic spectra and then we will go to spectral line drawing in atomic spectra atomic spectra occurs when the atom undergoes a transition with the change of energy delta e and emits or absorbs a photon of frequency delta e by h it produces a spectrum of series of lines as shown in the figure here. The lines are described by the equation mu bar is equal to Rh into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square where Rh is the red bar constant and mu bar is the wave number. The spectra are affected by a number of factors which causes the broadening of the spectra and one of the main reasons behind it is Doppler broadening which is defined as the shift in radiation when the source moves towards or away from the observer. It is governed by an equation shown here and from the equation it is clear that the Doppler broadening directly depends on temperature. As the temperature increases, the broadening also increases because the molecules acquires a wider range of speeds. And the next main reason is lifetime broadening which is due to the fact that no excited state has an infinite lifetime and the broadening is explained by an equation h cross by tau where h cross is h by 2 pi and tau is the lifetime of the molecule and from the equation it is clear that the shorter the lifetime of the states involved in a transition the broader is the corresponding spectral line there are two main reasons behind lifetime broadening one is collisional deactivation which arises from the collision between atoms or with the walls of the container and there is a high chance of collision broadening in plasma because there are many electrons and ions in plasma. Collision deactivation is directly proportional to pressure. And the next is an intrinsic property which is natural line width. It occurs due to spontaneous emission. The natural line width depends strongly on the transition frequency. The spectral broadening of an atom can be reduced by applying some conditions. Low temperature will reduce the Doppler broadening and to reduce collisional deactivation, low pressure can be applied and to reduce natural line width, low frequency transition. So with this much information, we can check our question. The question is to find out correct statements about spectral line broadening in atomic spectra. Option A is the collision between atoms causes broadening of the spectral line which is defined as the collisional deactivation hence option a is true second option is shorter the lifetime of the excited state broader is the line width which is clear from the equation for lifetime broadening which was delta e is equal to h cross by tau where tau is the lifetime so as the lifetime is shorter the broadening is more. So option B is also correct. Third option is the upper broadening is more pronounced as the flame temperature increases. So as I already discussed, it is clear from the equation for Doppler broadening that Doppler broadening is directly proportional to temperature. So as the flame temperature increases, broadening also increases. Option C is also correct. We can check the fourth option. In flame and plasma, natural line broadening exceeds the collisional line broadening. In flame and plasma, since the number of electrons and ions are more, there is a high chance of collisional line broadening. And the natural line broadening is an intrinsic factor. It doesn't depend on the state of matter. So option D is wrong. For this question, answers are A, B and C. For further reference, you can access NPTEL video but the lecture is handled by Dr. Sayan Bhakshi and the link is given here. Thank you.